Hello, good morning. Um, we're coming to you on Thursday with our update this week, as you can probably tell if you're watching this. Um, it's very, very quiet on the site here this morning. It's a little bit earlier than we normally do the updates. We have got the trainees in, but they're in a different part of the site. Um, but I just wanted to show you um, this bed that we've got here. So let me turn the camera around. Here we are, and obviously it's got netting over it. And maybe we can just look underneath there and see we've got all of these lettuces growing. There are spring onions down that way. And I don't know if you can see right to the very end of the bed, but we've got some beans growing as well. Um, it's looking good. We've also got some weeds growing, um, but we don't mind a bit of that. We can go and pull those out at some point. Um, so I just wanted to show you that really so that you could see and I'm going to fasten this up while I'm here and while I'm talking to you otherwise I'll forget and we won't have any lettuces because the peacocks will come and eat them. I just wanted to show you that there is the potential for growing a lot of stuff even at this time of year and obviously as you can see these bits are outside they're not in the tunnel so even if you've not got the covered over space you can still be getting on with stuff um, in other news I'm going to turn you around again and show you how we're getting on with the enclosed area which is for keeping all the birds out so that the peacocks don't eat our food um, you can see all these red posts here these are the bits that are going to support the um, the cover that will go over the top of this huge fenced in area that I'm in right now and you can see how much space we've got in here there's about 20 probably more than 20 beds um, and yeah once it's completely covered over we'll be able to take these nets off the, the um, beds that we've got already because the birds won't be getting in and um, it's gonna it'll take some refining because we have seen some little rabbits hopping in and out of the gaps in the fences um, here we've got Dan let's talk to Dan and see what he has to say about the covered over area hi Dan are you all right so uh, do you want to let us know where you're up to with this and what the plan is um, we just need to attach a few more of the posts and then we're gonna look at uh, bracing them together so we can put the netting over yeah um, then getting some more beds in here where the, uh, there's blank spaces. Yeah. You know, just try and fill the space out so we have as much room to grow as possible. Perfect. And obviously, this was a big job, so, so it's more worth it, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's um, a huge job, isn't it? You've done so well with it. Yeah, it's come along really fast, to be fair. It um, has, I'm surprised. So yeah, we're just going to put the rest of the posts up. I think there's like two more to do, and then, yeah, it's ready for the the next part. So do we know what's, what we're covering over the top way? Um, it's just bird netting. Um, oh, okay. They said it's, you know, very small stuff. Just to keep, because you have, obviously we have the peacocks and things around here, don't we? Yeah, um, that's it, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just to keep all them out, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, it should be really good. It's going to be so productive when it's done. Yeah. Almost done. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. I'll turn this back round now and I will take you over to the polytunnel where we can look at some of the baby seedlings. We've got two polytunnels to visit today and they're kind of in opposite corners of the garden. So I'm just going to chat nonsense to you while I take you over there. Um, the, yeah, the seedlings in, the, in this polytunnel are the very little ones. Um, that we've planted and we're hoping to get some crops through the winter from them. There, um, there are some cabbages and some wattbrock and um, we've done uh, lettuces and there's fenugreek, there's all sorts of things. Here we are um, and here they all are. Some of these labels are correct and some of them not so correct but you can see they're quite new little baby ones and that's all the fenugreek under there there's some onions from previously at the back there 
and these so these ones have all been put in separate modules because they're starting to get a little bit bigger and we want to give them a bit more chance and then over here I'm not entirely sure what we've got over here because things weren't labeled very well so I'm certain we've definitely got some weeds but there should be some crops in there as well and we're just going to wait and see what we end up with and we also when we planted those we also planted some lettuces and um, some salad greens and things like that which we have now taken over to the other tunnel I'm getting my steps in doing this video um, and we've planted them in the beds so we've got one poly tunnel here that's got raised beds in it and the other two have just got shelving um, like you've just seen to to get the seedlings started off and this one that we're heading towards now is the one where um, where things can can grow in um, sort of permanently as their permanent home um, we'll just stop off here and have a look at these pumpkins because they're amazing there they are there's not lots of them but we've got this two three big ones there one there that's not quite as big it's very exciting at this time of year isn't it all halloweeny and ready for carving or making soup with or whatever it is you want to do with pumpkins so here we are in the tunnel that's got the raised beds in so we've been in here before you might have seen it if you've watched our previous videos here we've got some of the water from the water but which was put in here yesterday so that it would be a decent temperature for watering things today and I'm just going to take this cover off as gently as I possibly can um, and there you are so the the ceilings get covered over with this fleece on a night just to make sure that they stay warm enough and then during the day we take the cover off and we can water them and they're actually looking really healthy um, these ones are sage and lettuce and I think over here is where we've got some salad greens and oh look they they're looking so much better they were very wilted on Monday when we put them in so yeah you can see some of them haven't quite taken but lots of them have so that's really good because we were we weren't certain what was going to happen with those or whether we'd whether we'd lose them so it's positive that some of them have kept going and here are the rest um, there might be something different actually but I can't quite remember radishes that's what they are yes there we go so there's some radishes um, here's some peppers that are still growing they're doing really well got loads of courgettes on this side um, and that's about all the news from this tunnel so um, I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that's donated to our fundraiser um, we really really appreciate your support and it's going to mean that we can actually I'll stay in here while I finish talking to you and then the wind won't go in the microphone yeah it's going to mean that we can do a lot more of this work and that we can deliver courses and, and teach people and spread the word about organic growing all through the local community which not only helps us with our food and where we get that from but it also is helping people with their self-esteem and sense of achievement and there's it's such a great feeling being able to grow your own food and it's not surprising to me at all how how often it's helped people in really challenging circumstances just to build themselves back up again and, and be part of building a new life so yeah it's important work on so many levels and um yeah we're we're really grateful for the support that we've had um with our fundraiser if you want to help us out with that i've put the link in the description for this video um, and obviously we would love your help and support um, and yeah our actual sponsored event for the fundraiser is on halloween itself um, we're going for a three peaks walk in gisborough so um, it's it's 14 and a half kilometers i think um, it takes about five hours uh, we're practicing hard for it and <laughs> doing as much walking as we can and yeah it should be good we'll come to you live on the day and you can follow our progress and um 
yeah it should be good fun and hopefully it will raise some awareness and some money for this excellent cause thank you for watching and i will speak to you again next week bye bye